Jevin, tell me a little bit about the uh, network that you're running, number of subscribers, where you're located, that sort of thing. We are um, we're located in uh, southwest, <laughs> south central Kansas. Um, we cover approximately about 10,000 square miles. And currently running about 3,500 subscribers on, on our network. And you are, I think, uh, affiliated with, fully owned by a power company in the area? Yes, we okay. are a division or subsidiary of a electric co-op. Now I noticed up on the board there that you had an ice storm recently. When did this happen and, and what happened? Well, there was an ice storm that came through, <coughs> excuse me, in 2007 that um, dropped uh, most of the area for power. So as part of our job, uh, we had to make sure the communications were up for the co-op. And so we were running 24-7, making sure sites were up, generators had fuel in them, and um, doing whatever it took to uh, make sure things worked for it. But the, the real trouble came after the fact when everything melted because the ground was frozen. So we had one side end up in five and a half feet of water. So we were there climbing the towers, moving equipment up on the tower just to make sure it was all functional. It was quite, a, it was quite an event. Wow. And um, in terms of the, the site that was flooded, was it one tower site? Was it your, your head end? Or well, it, which, was, uh, it was one tower site, but it's where um, all of the traffic fed into to um, to hit the core services, whether it's email or uh, outbound traffic to the internet, uh, those sort of things. So it was important that that site had to stay running. Now, it doesn't sound like you had any problem with uh, your backup power systems, the generators, getting fuel to the, the sites? When the some of them we did. Uh, we have some tower sites located in the middle of a field. And when you can't when a, you can't even get a tractor out to the field, it makes it an obstacle to try to even um, walk out there to it. Well, Jevin, thanks for speaking with us today. We appreciate it. Absolutely, thank you.